In this segment, I'm going to take a look at the options for group, ungroup, and combine, and break apart. Now, perhaps what I'll do to show that is, I guess first of all, I'll just create myself one, two, three, four um, objects, and show that if I was to drag a box to select all four objects, and then right click over top of them, I have the option of either group or combine. Now, group will put all four objects become selectable as one thing. And same thing, if I resize them, they resize as a group. So they become a group of objects, but the way they stitch is still four individual objects. So it'll, so this fill and this outline, and this fill and this outline, and this fill and this outline, and this fill and this outline. Now, I can also right click and choose ungroup. And when I ungroup, then again, we're back to just individually selectable objects. Now, that's different than using combine. And I can use combine on these same four objects. And what I do, when I do, if I use combine as opposed to group, I'll use combine. What it does is it actually connects them in terms of sewing order. So what it's going to do is it's going to do the red of this one. The red of this one, it looks like it comes over, does the red of this one, back over here, and then down here. It tries to connect them all together. And then it'll sew the outlines all at the same time. And the opposite of um, combining is breaking apart. Now, maybe this isn't the most natural place to use the combine. So what if I had drawn a shape? All right, so I'll just draw myself a bit of an outline tool. There's a piece of fill. And now before I break uh, the object, I'm going to draw some more embroidery. So I'll draw a line. And maybe I'll draw another line over here. And so now what I have is a fill and two lines. And now I'm going to right click. And you can see that because of the way I designed them, they're automatically combined, which means this line and this line will sew at the same time as the outline that goes around this fill. And I guess what I could do is select that, and I could choose to break it apart if I didn't want that. So the difference between group and ungroup is that when you use group, if I group these three shapes together and say group, they'll still sew as three individual shapes, but they will be selectable and editable as a group, and I can then ungroup them. But if I choose to combine them, not only are they selectable and editable as a group, they're sewn together as um, objects that belong together and sequenced together. So that's the difference between using group and ungroup and combine and break apart.